all the Raptors fans were in for a treat when we saw that you joined DeMar DeRozan on IG Live not that long ago. And DeMar said that he felt you could one day be the greatest Toronto Raptor ever. Had that thought ever crossed your mind before? Happy to be joined today by none other than Pascal Siakam. P, how are you holding up first and foremost? Is everyone safe, healthy, the fam is good, you're good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm um, doing doing great. Uh, trying to stay healthy and and staying away, um, respecting all the guidelines and and everything that was said. So, um, yeah, every, everybody's good. The family's good. So, um, you know, just trying to stay busy during during this this time. And happy belated birthday! It was your birthday not that long ago? How'd you celebrate? I'm sure it wasn't what you originally planned to be doing. Well, I don't really plan my birthday, so like um, I had nothing planned, but I'm sure I would have done more than I did. Um, <laughs> but but it, it was it was cool just hanging out with family and, and relaxing. Are you a cake guy? Like, did you get a cake? Oh uh, yeah, um, red velvet. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Good, yeah. I don't mind that. What's uh What's one of the weirder things you found yourself doing in this uh, self isolation peak? Because like as an example, I took all my shoes and coordinated them by color and size of box, like spent way too much time, way too much time doing that. What kind of weird things have you been up to? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do that, but um, <laughs> I think, well, nothing weird really. Like I, I just try to do uh, different things, things that I don't usually do. Like I don't usually read, I try to read, I don't usually play the piano and I try to do that. So um, things like that, um, that, that I do, nothing weird though. Who have you been FaceTiming the most uh, with all this downtime? Um, well, my mom, basically, and then my, my brother, I think, is, is the most important. We always kind of stay connected um, and, and, and talk all the time whenever we can. And, and, and you know, and mom trying to uh, make sure that she's good. Uh, I think all the Raptors fans were in for a treat when we saw that you joined DeMar DeRozan on IG Live not that long ago. And DeMar said <laughs> that he felt you could one day be the greatest Toronto Raptor ever. Had that thought ever crossed your mind before? Oh uh, no, no, not at all. Um, those are not the things that I, I I talk about or I think about. Um, to me, man, I'm just I'm a winner. Like I try to win, and 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 every single day I, I go out there, work work really hard to be able to help my team win. And 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 really, that's the only thing I care about. And and I think if I win, you know, the rest take care of itself. So on Sports Night, we've been hosting these Raps Rewind watch parties. And last night was game one of the final against Golden State, where you were putting in work 32 points, career playoff high, no big deal. <laughs> what do you remember most about that night in Toronto, the first game of the final? Uh, oh, man, I think it was crazy uh, just just seeing the atmosphere. Like, I mean, like the fans was going crazy. Um, first final obviously and, and and the fan was experiencing the first final and I was as well so um it was a lot of emotion and 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 um definitely a game that I remember for the rest of my life just um and 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 how exciting it was and just to be a part of that environment um and knowing that you know the whole world is basically watching I mean it was it was it was um electric and and um you know we want to we trade anything to be in that moment again uh, Big Perk, Kendrick Perkins joined us for two of those watch parties and both times he made it very clear that you are his favorite player by far. <laughs> so who is your favorite player to watch and you can't name a teammate, P? Um, shout out to my, my man, Kendrick Perkins. I mean, that's my guy right there. Um, but uh, favorite player to watch, I can't name my teammate. Um, that's definitely tough. Um, <laughs> Because, yeah, because I definitely uh, find myself watching our highlights and, and watching our players. So, um, um, if I well, if I have to say somebody else that I, I, I like watching is, um, I would say Paul George and, and Kevin Durant. Like, those are the two people that I, got, I probably will watch the most. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, what kind of playlist has been at Casa Siakam? What artist are you listening to the most these days? Um, these days, um, Obviously, we got a, the new Drake song that's going a little crazy everywhere. <laughs> um, obviously, I listen to that. But um, but usually, like, my favorite, or, like, um, Meek Mill is one of my favorite. Um, I always listen to him. And um, and now I'm, like, I've always been, like, a big fan of Afrobeat and, and stuff. But um, right now, like, I'm, I'm listening to that heavy, too. Um, Joe Boy, Davido, like, they, they, you know, Stanley Anno. Like, they have a lot of artists coming out, coming up um, Afrobeat. I mean, it's, it's going crazy right now. Is there any guilty pleasure sprinkled in there, like a little Taylor Swift or something? Um, well, not, not Taylor Swift, but, but Ed Sheeran, yeah. 
They're Ed Sheeran. Okay, well, that's a good, that's a good answer. <laughs> and obviously Drake's song is blowing up, so I have to ask, have you Tuesday slide? Yeah, do you um, yeah, to know I, it? I definitely, I'm definitely trying to do that. Um, it, it, was, it was definitely, it was definitely a little tough, you know, because when I first heard it, like trying to put my left foot up and slide with my right foot at the same time was kind of hard. But then when I, I saw the video, I, I kind of understood. I understood when I saw the video that you you have to kick it up and then and then put your foot down and then slide because if you try to do it, you know, like you probably yeah. not gonna be able to do it. So yeah, I've tried to do that. Um, definitely not gonna do that on camera, but, oh. but um, it's fun. It's fun in the shower though. Okay, fair enough. Tuesday well, slide not in the at shower, home. but at home, chilling at home. with no cameras. Fair. All right, for these next few, I want you to name the teammate who's most likely to fit this scenario. Binge yeah. watch all three seasons of Ozark. Who, who watches? Fred. I'll say Fred, because Fred be watching shows all the time. Yeah, Fred's into Netflix, keeping up with yeah. everything. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, who would eat an entire pizza to himself? <laughs> so, um, who always be eating? I don't know. I would say Dewan. I'm just putting rookie out there. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, who is busy practicing TikTok routines until they're perfect? Oh man, um, OG probably Pat. <laughs> I was gonna say O'Shea's got had a couple pretty good ones. Yeah, Did you see well, his? yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw. I saw a couple of his. Um, real thinking funny, but when we get back, we are gonna get him though. Did you see the one where he did your walk-ins where he had... Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. It was pretty good, right? All right, who is most likely to work on his jumper with a mini hoop? Um, Norm. Norm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Norm will do that. Who is most likely to try and launch a rap career on the side? Side hustle. Uh, Side hustle, launch a rap career. I would say, like, somebody, like, I don't know, maybe, like, Stan Lee or something. I feel like he's from L.A., so, like... That's probably something he would do. He or, can spit bars on and get I, I don't know if he can, but I'm saying like <laughs> he's from LA and, and he probably, you know, he likes probably rappers and stuff. So, or, 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 you know, being in LA, he probably leave that, that kind of lifestyle or something. So, I don't know. <laughs> Lots um, of influences from out there, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's being from LA and stuff, I think he probably could. And I think probably Rondé would think that he got bars. Like, <laughs> I feel like he would think he got bars. So, that was who my answer. Yeah, that would have been my <laughs> guess. So that's a good one. Yeah, and finally, yeah. who is getting their Martha Stewart on and trying to bake bread because everyone is baking now. Oh, so obviously, yeah. Chef, Chef Fuzzy, I mean, that's an easy answer. He, uh, he's put out it there that he's doing this talent contest. Do you think uh, if you were to enter, what kind of talent would you try to show off? Um, I don't know. Maybe like, since I'm learning the piano, I'll probably say singing or something like that. But Nice. Is the piano Definitely. good tough? Or are you getting, yeah, it's you getting there? It's hard. It's hard. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm too old for that, but, <laughs> but I'm I still talked, learning. I talked to coach Nick Nurse the other day, and he said he's he's been playing for like nine, ten years, so maybe he can give you a couple tips. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I know. I know. He always plays when we go to different hotels, and the piano's there. Like, he always does something. Um, I think it's really impressive. So I might, I, might, I might reach out. All right. Uh, fill in the blank. Without a doubt, I miss blank the most. Okay. What do you miss the most? Basketball. <laughs> like, yeah. that's the, that's the, I feel like everyone that, that plays basketball or is a fan of basketball misses it. So, um, yeah, I would say basketball easily. Is it hard when you don't have that, like, structure and routine for you, or are you able to adapt to that? Oh, uh, it's hard. Like, I, I find myself, like, sleeping at 5 o'clock in the morning and waking up at 2 sometimes. Like, it's, it's all over the place, but... Um, but I think for me, like, as long as I keep my routine, like, doing the things that I want to do, like, working out or, or doing something else that I don't usually do, some, like, reading or, or playing the piano, I'm trying to keep my mind occupied. Um, I think if I just do that during the day, I'm good. Like, because most of the time, I don't even know what day it is. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> You're not alone in that. That goes for all of us. Um, <laughs> finally, who do you want to shout out, P, for any reason whatsoever? Um, who I want to shout out? Um, well, I shout out my sisters, uh, Raisa and Vanessa. Like they don't really get the, the the shout out all the time. My brothers always get all the love. So, shout out to my sister, man. I uh, love y'all. 